Alrighty guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be kind of fixing a few things, cleaning a few things up, and uh, just kind of seeing what needs to be done. Also, today I'm probably going to be going to uh, the yard where my work is based out of, and I'm going to get the guys at the shop to replace my shocks. Uh, they did all four of my rear shocks for me. Um, I didn't want to do them myself because I seen what they had to do. They literally had to use a torch and heat up the, those bolts to get, you know, the bolts out and put the new shocks in. So I'd rather just let them deal with the fronts, you know, and uh, have them do it for me. And it's like 25 bucks for a side. So, you know, why waste, why waste, you know couple hours trying to get it loose when you could just go pay some guy 50 bucks at a shop plus i get a discount there so even better because i work for customized so you know <clears throat> so uh yeah so first things first i'm probably gonna clean up all that oil mess bought a box of brake cleaner and uh we're gonna check the oil clean it up and kind of kind of go from there oh my door's open again guys i might leave it <laughs> oh boy so basically what i'm going to be doing is i'm just going to be cleaning up this oil spill that uh i have going on here oh i hate looking at this i'll get those out in a minute as y'all can see all this oil this is from coming from this little thing right there i'm still trying to figure out what it is people uh the shops are still telling me that uh it's because the motor still hasn't broken in yet, but I'm starting to have different thoughts about it. But I'm probably going to give it another probably, probably another 20,000 miles. See if the rings finally seat. And uh, we're probably going to go from there. I will be doing the front cover uh, soon. I'm going to be resealing that. And... Uh, while i'm there i'm probably also just going to replace the radiator and the surge tank so i have a fresh system everything fresh and then once i get everything mechanical done um then i can focus on painting the hood doing all the cool stuff that you guys want to see so now let me make sure that i have a rag this time well I have no rag once again I'm gonna honestly just have to go buy some rags. I'm probably just gonna use these napkins for the time being. So, let's see what our oil level's at. literally good so i don't know why it just keeps throwing it out i think i'm just gonna have to maybe not idle or maybe they keep telling me to idle at like a thousand rpm and the ring should be seating but i man
guys we are heading off to the shop uh, today I kind of want to show you guys how I shift my uh, 13 speed transmission so you guys can kind of get an understanding of how it works because I'm pretty sure some people are wondering So, when we get to a stop, that's where I'm gonna explain. <clears throat> All right, so change of plans. Uh, my good buddy Demir is gonna help me out, see if we can uh, just replace them by ourselves, and if not, I'm just gonna take it right to the shop so I'm gonna be at the yard anyways so but uh you know I'm trying to save 50 bucks at least I just know last time they used that torch on it and a, you know air impact so it took them a minute to get it off to get the four uh rears off We've arrived at customized. All right, guys. So we actually managed to replace the shocks. I didn't really report it because I had my had my friends help me out. So there they are. Got new Monroe shocks. These shocks in here were completely gone. The old ones, the old Gabriels, and these were. These things are freaking toast. So yeah, um, this stuff is pretty simple. Literally, it's a quarter. It's like an inch and one eighth a wrench. Take this off. Take that nut off. Take that nut off down there. Then what you want to do when you take these off, uh, you just kind of want to hit it from the back, or you can use the wrench to uh, to kind of like push it out. And then after you do that, uh, you just take the whole thing out and then just make sure you get the little rubber gaskets out from the old shock. And then what you wanna do is with the new shock that you get, so normally, I mean, you can, you grease the insides of the rubber on the shock. So I took some grease from my fifth wheel. And uh, let me see if I can find it. There's one right here. So. This basically goes in the shock like this. And basically what you do is, is you take some grease and you put your finger through it and you grease it all up. So then when you slide it on to this, I guess kind of, you know, nut thing to the stud, it slides on easy. So, and then after that, once you grease them, throw them on, throw the nuts on, tighten them just enough to where it's like a quarter turn tight. You know, not like tight to where like this rubber is like popping out, but just tight enough to where you know it's not going anywhere. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. Uh, the grease, I got it off the fifth wheel or you can get your own grease, doesn't really matter. Uh, so save me 50 bucks or 100 bucks, however much they were gonna charge me. But uh, now on to the next thing. Also for anybody wondering, this is the yard to customize. Basically, this is an agency that's with customized so my boss he is an agency i guess kind of subcontracted to crowley i guess that's how it works not too sure don't hate me if i don't get it right but yeah it's kind of how it works so got their own shop over there everything gated and uh yeah you pay for parking here i think it's like 50 or 75 a month not too sure but yeah all right guys i can already tell you just by being in the yard that these shocks are like a million times better and the difference in like how the how it travels is like so much better wow it's crazy how shocks can make such a big difference the quality of those gabriels apparently aren't as good as these monroes 
so so normally when I'm floating gears normally when I'm starting off in first I, I'm at the red light I throw it in first foot on the brake also foot on the clutch so you know truck doesn't go anywhere so, normally I shift between 1200 and 1500 rpm um so i'm gonna show you guys how i float the gears all the way probably up to ninth or eighth i probably can't go that fast down this road so so we're in first second third fourth and now we're gonna go to the high range. So we're gonna put the gear selector up and that's fifth. And now since this is a 13 speed, we have this red button right here. So we get to 1500, let go of the gas, press the button, it shifts into fifth high for us. So now we're gonna put it back down and shift to sixth. That puts the truck in sixth low. Now we're at 1500, shift again, six high. Now we're gonna put it back down, go to seventh low. And every time when I'm switching from high to low gear, I'm, I always let go of the gas and then I put my foot back on the gas. So for example, let me see if I can show you. So we got gear selector, we're at 1500, let go. Boom, just like that. And it goes into gear. limit here is 45 so well now it's 40 and we're only going 40 so but so we're gonna do it again we're gonna go to uh we're gonna go to eighth we're gonna go to eight low so we're gonna push this down and then we're gonna just shift into eighth low just like that and now if i want to downshift back up to seven high i just go like this switch this to high and just put it back into seven high and if I want to go even lower I want if I want to go back down to seven low I, I press the button and just give it some gas and it shifts back into seven low me explaining this is kind of making uh, explaining how this 13 speed kind of works and also showing you guys how I float the gears you see I'm not using the clutch the only time I use the clutch is when I'm at a red light and going in from first or second you know so so I went back down to six high I took it out of gear gave it a rev up to 1500 and I just simply just slid it into six high six low and we're just gonna come to a stop so now I have my foot on the brake I'm gonna put the gear selector back down just slowly brake so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go to second i'm gonna start in second so lay your foot off the clutch you're going we're gonna hit 1500 third 1500 again fourth we're gonna put the gear selector up go to fifth low 1500 again shift let go of the gas foot on the clutch i'm in first we're gonna slowly let off give it some gas second third fourth high gear fifth red button boom 1500 we're gonna put it down shift down to six low and we're going to six high just like that 
it's kind of like hard to explain i hope like the me explaining it this way is kind of giving you an idea of how it works if it's not let me know in the comments below all right so we're starting in second again we got our turn signal on to turn right all right we are in fourth gear so we're gonna go gear selector up fifth gear now we're gonna put the gear select uh, we're gonna put this red button up let go and it shifts into fifth for us same thing boom just like that see how I'm downshifting I'm kind of rev matching it oh there's something in the road let's dodge that All right, so we're in five high right now. Gonna put our high and low down, and then we're gonna shift into six low. So you see, when I get to 1500, I put the selector up for the high and low range, and then I just let go of the gas and it shifts in for me. So then when I wanna shift to seventh, put it low while I'm in sixth and just go to seventh while I'm at like the 1500 RPM range. And I'm gonna downshift. And you can see I haven't been using the brake at all. And now traffic is moving. <clears throat> So we're gonna go gear selector, the high and low range selector, back down, shift into sixth. We're gonna put it, we're gonna push the red button up, let go of the gas, and it shifts into six high for us. So just like that. Kind of repeating myself. So we're gonna go to seventh, put it down, shift to seventh. Just like that. It's going in just like butter. But so I'm repeating myself just to kind of like give you a better understanding some sometimes some shifts I'm not actually explaining everything so so now we're gonna go to seven high put it up let go of the gas and it shifts in for you it shifts in to seven high if you understand what I'm saying it's fairly simple um, if you guys are eager to learn to 10 speed is much easier than a 13 speed so a 10 speed you just have the shifter and the gear selector and that's it you don't have this red button on the side 18 speed you do as well also you have a twin stick 18 speed and i think you could have also a twin stick 13 speed i'm not too sure so now we're going to go to seven low i pressed it low and i gave it some gas and it shifted into seven low a little bit and we're going to seven high just like that it's simple now we're going to go to eight low now, as you can see i'm not using the clutch at all i'm not double clutching i'm just simply floating the gears i'm going to downshift to seven high So what I did, I went from eighth low, I put it in neutral, switched this to the high range, and then gave it some gas, and, and just put it in seven high. And I did that all with like quickness, can't be slow. Seven low, now we're gonna go to six high. Six low. And now we're just gonna slow down. Now what I'm gonna do here, I'm in neutral. So basically I'm going 10 miles an hour. I know when I go 10, I can put myself in third. And I'm back rolling. I didn't even have to stop. 
five low, 1500, let go of the gas at 1500, switch the selector high, and it shifts in for you. Six low, six high, just like that. Don't take this as like a learning thing. Like I'm not here to teach you how to shift. I'm just showing you how I float the gears and kind of explaining how it works. So I'm not a professional teacher by any means. So now we're gonna go to seven high. guys we made it back to the yard hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial on well not a tutorial kind of just hope you guys this was just like a little like how i do it you know <sighs> not a teacher or anything but just wanted to show you guys also a lot of you guys are saying since the cables sit on the frame so i have these two things right here so i'm going to change this out so they don't hang as much um so there we go. I'm going to just kind of do this. And there we go. Now, every time we hook, for the people that were saying that it messed my thing up, yes, it would have. Um, so there you go. Now it's uh, up there. So no need to worry about that. Uh, all right. Well, the truck's all clean. Cleaned her up as good as I could. Vacuumed. And uh, I think we are good to go. All right, guys, I just walked in the house uh, from being at the truck. I got me some food, got me a steak quesadilla. Like that little accent, you know what I'm saying? Your boy knows Spanish. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, gonna let my boy out here. Alexa, turn on the living room. Look at him. Who's been a good boy? Yeah, let's go outside, buddy. Come on, bud. I know you guys are... Asking about my dog. I adopted him. And uh, he's a good boy. Come on. Let's go. But uh, yeah, that's probably going to be the end of the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, everything. Um, <clears throat> yesterday's video was pretty long. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit shorter. Um... So yeah, also I made a Discord server so all you guys can come in, uh, if anyone wants to play American Truck Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator, whenever I do end up getting it, uh, you guys can join. Even any subscribers that just want to hang out, chill and talk, uh, the app is called Discord, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, if you enjoyed, hit the like button for me, and if you're not subscribed, hit that sub button and hit the bell notification and... Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.